All right, guys, I was influenced by a fellow influencer. I guess that's what we're called. We're called influencer, all these watch channels, but escapement and watch. I'll put a link to his video down below. He did this video and he labeled it microbrains in crisis, a shocking reality. And then he put in, you know, hieroglyphs, Circa 5303 clone. Well, I, the only time I've handled the Circa was at a worn and wound wind up show. And I felt like it was a little bit smaller than I wish it was. And that's what sold me on this one is in his video, he gave the dimensions and it is this particular brand looks basically the same as the Serica, but it's larger. So I think it's gonna fit my wrist better. So I purchased the white dial with the black bezel. Pretty quick shipping overall. I got it, um, I think within a couple of weeks or something. How long ago was his video? Where does it say? Five days ago. So it was way quicker than a couple weeks because I ordered this after I watched his video and his video was posted five days ago. So uh, pretty dang quick, actually, um, if I can get this thing unwrapped. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unwrap this. Okay, struggle wasn't too bad with that one. So first impressions, pretty good looking watch. I'm not disappointed. I can hear and feel some rotor wobble, some spin. I chose the PT 5000 or 2000 or whatever the heck the movement is. I will pull the case back off and show that to you because you can pick either the ETA, this PT, or you can pick the Salita movement. I went for the absolute cheapest option. I think it was like 260 bucks or something like that. And honestly, that was even per escapement and watches recommendation. Uh, for how many watches I have, that's actually a really nice puzzle action too. Um, I don't really care what movement's in it, to be honest with you guys. Like, I don't, it's hard for me to wear a watch more than a day or two with how many I have. But really good finishing on this, great bezel action, uh, amazing price point. It comes pretty quick. I, I don't know if I paid extra for shipping, but I ordered it from Watch Dives. I'll put a link down below in the description. I have no affiliation with them, no discount or anything like that. I just went to the website and paid whatever the price was. I didn't even do like any sort of email thing to try to get any sort of discount. I just bought it. I don't I don't have time for all that stuff and I don't want to be on a bunch of emails. So the brand is actually IPOSE, IPOSE. Um, and I think they might be changing it or something. Uh, this is actually their warranty card. I learned that in that other video. It comes with a screwdriver as well. I'm not really sure why we need the screwdriver because this is not a bracelet that you would size like that so um let's pop it on wrist see if i can uh, see if i can sort this out in a timely fashion yeah it doesn't look too bad so basically you just kind of feed that through there it's hard to do on camera until the desired sizing and then fold that over somehow somewhere like that, and uh, that's actually pretty comfortable. I'll loosen it up a little bit, nice little taper to that, a really nice mesh, and I like the sizing of it. I just need to loosen up the strap a little bit. I'm digging it. Uh, it's hard to beat the value of some of these uh, brands. I know whatever your feelings are on homage or whatever you want to call it, uh, but the dimensions are totally different. They're more suited for my preference for my wrist and the price point. Yeah, I can't gripe about that. So full video soon. And like I said, I will pull the case back off so we can take a look at that as well. Thanks for watching.